That's the. <laughs> That's easily the ugliest cry I've ever seen somebody do, bro. And he over here slapping his cake, bro. Like, that's crazy. How you crying and slapping your butt? Like, <laughs> yo, you freaky, bro. What is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Most Hated JC, back at y'all. I know y'all soft, right? I haven't hit y'all with a back-to-back -back persona in a little minute, but this is, uh, 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 what would you call it? A penance? Repentance? I don't know. Just take it as the kindness out of my own heart because I know last episode was pretty short and it was more of a slice of life type of episode, even though y'all still enjoyed it, which I'm grateful for. I'm gonna quench y'all thirst oh, with this. Oh, hell no. So I gotta pause that. But hey, bro, if y'all been enjoying Persona 5 Royal so far you want to see this series continue make sure you leave a like and comment so I know how you feel about it and if you are new here and you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on that bell so you're always gonna know when I'm posting new vids trust me bro I know y'all be seeing them lately I've been only it's only gonna get it better and better you're not gonna want to miss them and if you want me in the loop the most hated news for all the socials that are displayed right here they're also always linked down in the description below for direct link to whatever social you want to follow me on bro pretty sure I fixed the camera angle to about right where we were before before. I'm sorry it was all flash video. It's just I got to get used to taking it up and putting it down for when we do VR because y'all did enjoy the VR, so I expect more VR content. Um, now let me stop talking about other stuff and let's hear Madarame's confession. Hope you're having a good day. I've been having a pretty great day, might I say. <laughs> might I say, days until legal action, one of them things. All right. So, what should we do on this evening? You know, we actually could do. We could start off by going. <laughs> we could start off by finally going to do the Big Bang Challenge, like I've been saying I mean to do, and just haven't got around to. So let's hit Shibuya. Uh, where we need to go? Big Bang Burger. But yeah, I've been having great days thanks to y'all, bro. You know, seeing seeing all the support on the videos, I greatly appreciate it. I'll never take y'all for granted. I know I sound like a broken record to the people who have been here for a little bit, but I truthfully mean it, bro. Like, it, it's crazy, it's just crazy, but enough sappiness, I know that's not what y'all here for. Let's now get back in the game. All right, Big Bang Burger. Let's see, let's see how much better I'm gonna do on this challenge now that my stats is up. Welcome to Big Bang Burger. Open 24 hours a day because there's no day or night in space. Oh, that's fire. Uh, what can I get for you? Uh, take the challenge, yes sir. At this time, you can take the Big Bang Challenge for only 500 yen. Would you like to try it? Yeah. Damn Skippy, you might be able to gain some guts if you do the challenge. That's why I'm trying to increase so I can talk to the airsoft guy. I think you can probably do it as you are now. The challenge will cost 500 yen. Wait, wait, I could do it like I could compl like I could win the challenge? I'll take the challenge, let's go. Certainly. Now then, go take a seat and good luck. Okay, we starting off eating a big burger, bro. <laughs> Thank you thought. very much. Thank you for coming to take the Big Bang Challenge once again. Since you are currently ranked at third, mate, this will be your opponent. Wait, what? I have an opponent. Now then. Oh, wait. The burger. What? What's there? Wait, why did I get ranked? What happened? Well then, it's time to get 30 minute Big Bang Challenge started. Ready? Wait, is it because... Wait, then I have a... So, uh, the more I do it, the harder it gets? Okay. So I don't beat it the very next time? Okay. Go! Interesting. Let's go, Joker. Munch, 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 munch. This is a tough battle. Now then. Don't get too hasty. Just work at your own pace and you'll do it. And y'all still all in my grill. <sighs> You did it! I didn't think I was gonna be able to beat it! Whoa! That's why you just gotta apply yourself, bro. You never know what's possible. What the hell? What happened? How did my headphones get caught? Congratulations on completing this challenge! Since you managed to extinguish the Comet Burger, 
I present to you the second mate badge. So I, I'm guessing there's levels to it. Second mate badge one, okay. And to the Burger Baron who defeated this challenge, we present to you our world famous Big Bang Burger on the house. We hope you enjoy the taste of victory. Oh, appreciate that, gang. Get Big ba Oh, three? Okay, so for me, Ryuji, and either Yusuke are on. Sorry, Morgana, this ain't catnip, and it's not tuna flavored, bro. You know what I mean? Like, not for Morgana. New challenges will await you now that you become a second mate. Please come again. I look forward to your next attempt at our challenge. Hey, bro, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be back here soon, I guess. <laughs> Fire. Fire. I knew you could do it. You took that comet burger down. You were so admirable. Taking on such a daunting task with that intense level of courage. And uh, <laughs> you know me, bro. I only got one point. So, I did all that for one f Okay. I nice. guess. Your pace, your strategy of using well-timed drinks, and just the spectacular way you devoured it. Pause! Everything was perfect. Okay, hold on. Let me take my comments back. I get more. I got a knowledge point. Really? Whoa, 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 what's his extra point to? Charm? Oh, okay, hold up, hold up! Proficiency? Okay, what else? I just got one, alright. I guess one is better than none, right? <laughs> Come on, we should head home. I'm full just from watching you. You weren't even watching, bro. You was in the bag, hiding. Like, you couldn't help me. Like, I couldn't take off little pieces and toss them to you. Like, I guess, bro. Yeah, we completed it, I guess, bro. That didn't do much. <laughs> Whoa, he's on the big screen. What's up with that old geezer? Whoa! These are his confessions. <gasps> Is he crying? Talk to me. I... I have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist. This is why we're here. Plainly put, I uh, plagiarized work. He sounds like such a meow meow. I, I tainted this this country's art world and, and even Sayori. This is the worst apology I've ever seen. This not believable. <laughs> Damn, you're doing way too much, bro. Relax, <laughs> relax. How could I? I possibly apologize to to everyone for for what I've done. That's the <laughs> That's easily the ugliest cry I've ever seen somebody do, bro. He over here slapping his cake, bro. Like that's crazy. How you crying and slapping your butt? Like <laughs> yo, you freaky, bro. <laughs> He's crying way too much. Right? <laughs> And that was from the urgent apology conference by completed the museum palace yes sir i know i kind of took a little longer than maybe needed be i don't know Marame <laughs> that took place just a moment ago after reporting to the association Madarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in yes oh wait no i f oh well i caught myself i forgot we can't sing that no more right <laughs> sorry y'all i forgot we can't sing yeah 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 damn that sucks i can't sing that no more can I? Let me know, y'all. Y'all okay with me singing that still? <laughs> Wasn't he on TV the other day? Yep. On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Madarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Stick them with the charges. Some doubt the validity that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used for fraud. Indeed it was, my brother. This large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, mm -hmm. and... That old man's done for. <laughs> After the conference, Madarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. And that's what I was going to say. The thing that sucks, he already capitalized off all of this for how much of his life. He only got like a solid like five years left to him, bro. Like, like, why couldn't we stop him when he was younger? <laughs> you know what I mean? However, initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. Yep, he's coherent, bro. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. Damn, you Why can't do you spill old people? the beans himself. Doesn't that seem weird? 
Oh, also, they get calling themselves the Phantom Thieves posted a dubious note at Matarame's exhibit. We get in clouds. The police will investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. Suspects of what? Phantom Thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Bandits, they say. I've heard of them before. Yeah. They supposedly steal evil hearts. Yeah. That's why the culprits apologize. Now, who you calling a bandit, sir? Address? I mean. Uh, okay. Wait, what? Steel hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. But I feel Only like I saw knew. something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. We are real. Oh, so it was like, we're going to take your heart? Yeah! Oh, that's impressive if someone really did that. Heart why'd you eat my heart alive? Still breathing. I forgot the rest of the song. Phantom Thieves, huh? Oh, this! Phantom Thieves again. Makoto! Nakanohara! And that was, um... You guys Side see the news about Matarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. Light Yagami from the, all the way from the beginning? Yeah, that's what that was. Yeah, yeah. And they mentioned the Phantom Thieves! Yes, sir. We got a Man, <laughs> on national TV. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. We With got this power. We might be able to do more than just getting back at society. We, It'll be a big deal. We got a CNN cosign. That's crazy. This this <laughs> this early in the game, we got a CNN cosign fire. Uh, this power. This will be fun. I don't know. This will be fun, bro. Let's keep pushing on there. Yes, sir. Got to keep going. As for me. I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. Or help more people. Something like help this happening people again. twice is massive, too. Right? It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. They gotta acknowledge. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. But obviously this don't go the right way because clearly I'm the one who ends up getting pinched. Who ends up getting pinched. And like, as a, like, you know what I mean? I was, I end up interrogated and abused. Like... What the hell? <laughs> Which one of y'all snuck, uh, ratted on me, bro? Cause they said I was set. We may want to quiet down a little. All right, the ops is right there. Whoa. Do you know them? You moron. Those are attendance officers. Right, talking about do you know them? <laughs> Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? What you want with me? Ah, uh, yes. How can we help you? How you instantly come to me, big bro? That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. <laughs> right. What are you all doing here? Are you friends? Yeah. We wanted some tea. We're delinquents. What do we look like? We wanted some tea. Where are we even at? Aren't we at a train station? We wanted some tea. Hmm. Is that so? And how would you do that in a place like this? Whoa. We were just discussing where we should go. Right, we don't have a right well, to just right. chill. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? Sir. There's been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. Sir, it's a Sunday afternoon. Can I, I can't enjoy my one day off with the bros? Like, what the hell? Damn. We'll be careful. What the hell? Oh my job. It's still light out. Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. That's what I'm saying. I can't understand if it was evening time. It's probably like 1 p.m., bro. Let me enjoy my only day off with the bros. Hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked because of you. Well, you just gonna have to get better, bro. We'll need to be even more cautious than before. That's what Look comes with us. getting bigger. Right after the second thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Damn! Wait, you mean people might be listening to us? It'll be fine. Look around. We're the only people worrying about it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I guess you're right. But said, but we're gonna feel the By pressure. The way, <laughs> we're gonna start feeling the pressure. Were you able to get anything out of Matarame? Um, Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? I forgot about that. We still don't know who that is. Well, I pressed him for answers. But he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. Damn. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen after all. Yeah, that shadow version of him it's got bodied. He'd be sent to prison. Right. In that case, gaining information will be difficult. Who is a black so mask, what bro? What are you gonna do now? I'll be leaving that house. Mm. I can't draw in such a place anymore. Yeah, I was gonna say, what's gonna happen to Yusuke? Where is he gonna stay? Because Madarame was his home. Like that was his his caretaker, bro. 
Do you have somewhere to go? Right. The school dorms. I can stay there free of charge thanks to Ooh, my fine arts scholarship. Okay. A scholarship. Okay. Is it that good? I mean, he was under Madarame's tutelage, bro. Tamaki san's house would do as well. Watch it. Wait, what? Watch it. Watch out. You know, you could ask her to model for you whenever you wanted. Okay. We're nipping that in the bud here. What is wrong with y'all? What y'all got going on, bro? No. What the hell? You moron. Whoa. Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. Facts. For the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. Okay. <sighs> and it'll probably take some time finding the right, target right. to Madarame. Now we're back to even more slice anyway, of life timing. We should just act like normal <laughs> students while we look for our next target, okay? Same as before. We'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. Looking for the next target. Right. Guess it's just more prep till then. So Ryuji's the one who finds the big hitters? Okay. I guess. Uh, how did she know we were? Yusuke Kitagawa. Whoa. Um, Makoto Nijima. Like, what the hell? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we finna go in the future and talk to your sister? Whoa. So Makoto's the one who probably ends up... Nah. <laughs> I'm not gonna jump to conclusions this early. I so after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? Yeah. You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. I'm not the bad guy here, ma'am. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. Yeah. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? How is it rubbish? T right, I'm not gonna say it's take it how you will, bro. I could tell my truth. It's up to you to interpret well. it how. So the truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. <laughs> I dare then, you to try and catch me about this new member who joined your group. Like, is Joker really snitching There's this no whole point time? Being stubborn. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation. Like, Joker's really ratting, bro. Oh, go right ahead. I'ma stay silent, bro. I'ma stay silent. So you sell out your accomplice? Hell no! Nah, I'm the leader. <sighs> yeah. Fine. Do your job. There's still much more that I want to hear. <laughs> Do your job. It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain uh, popularity. Lies flooded the internet. We got our internet. clout. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. We got groupies from that. Like y'all know damn well y'all ain't never contact us. Now you was there from the beginning. You wasn't with me shooting in the gym! I'm like, no, bro. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. Tough pickles. Now your next target was this man. Who we talking Junya about? Kaneshiro. They telling us our targets early. He doesn't compare to the previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. Junya Kaneshiro? He's Yakuza, bro? <laughs> Is he Yakuza? What the hell? You see the suits? So... Exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Tell me. Okay, the new art commences like those. The summary of the story at this to the, up to this point has been updated. I definitely could attack this part back onto the other video. Sorry, y'all. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know his confession was going to be so short and sweet like that. Ugh. Oh, the whoa. suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. Oh, so we're seeing Nishima in our evaluation will be performed to further now. investigate the crime's details and motives. First, Kamoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Madarame. Yep, I found yep. a number of points of commonality between the two. But my question is, why are they treating us like the bad guys if we're taking down criminals? Like, why are we bad? Is it because, like... I mean, I guess, right? That's supposed to be the police's job. But clearly, y'all would have never found out if it was like, bro, we should be working in cahoots, not working against each other. Like, I don't get why we're treated, well, I'm treated as a villain so far. Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. Yep, yep. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? I do not trust this dude, bro. I feel like something's up with him, bro. I just have an intuition, bro. Something's not right with, like, you know, you know how I know something's wrong with him? You see that cut? Nobody sane in the membrane willingly walks around like that, bro. Just shave it all off. Furthermore, 
The police will frown upon you stepping into this. Oh yeah, we saw. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. So this is where we she starts to getting involved. And find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. Oh, so this has been going on for a minute. <sighs> Even before I got involved. Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. So you work in two jobs now. Thank you, sir. I do not trust this old fart, bro. What are you looking at, sir? Her eyes are up there. That damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. You see what I mean? How can he be trusted? And I understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. Oh, God. This situation must be approached with the utmost seriousness. It's Andrew Tate, bro. Whoa. I shall continue to put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind. His voice do not match his appearance. Like, I'm not gonna lie. If you look like that, you're supposed to have a, like more depth and gravel to your voice. Like, he sound like me. <laughs> like, you're not supposed to look like that and it sound like me, bro. No, sir. Not only are there these phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed... What you got going with him, Unc? What y'all deal talking about, huh? Something that could put you behind bars? Oh, why me and Ryuji together? We, why do you look so angry, bro? Looks like Yusuke's texting me. I think you're getting him, too. Text in the group chat. Ah, uh, see, I'm not sore today, so I can hit it. You have my gratitude. What are you so polite for all of a sudden? I mean, <laughs> we saved him. I truly am thankful to you for making me come to my senses. You're exaggerating, you always one? <laughs> uh, you're exaggerating. I most certainly am not. I must express my gratitude earnestly. I feel like you always one is kind of rude. Like, I don't know the dynamic between me and Yusuke yet. <laughs> You're one of us now, man. We'll be counting on you, okay? Right. Of course. And if anything comes up, we won't hesitate to lend a, ha a hand, right? That's up. We locked in like these, bro. We got a new member to the gang. Thank you. Well then, see you. See you around, Gengo. Are we ever going to see Yusuke school? <laughs> he didn't have to go through, through all that trouble just to thank us. He's such an honest guy. All right. Anyways, that went well for our first job, huh? It was a huge success, right? We 2-0! Oh. So, that said, you got time after this? Oh, God, what, what happened? Uh, yeah? What's up, Reggie? You know. Well, thing is, I got some free tickets to a darts, a darts lounge from this guy now. Oh, we got a new hangout spot? But I totally forgot that they expire today, so you want to go right now? <sighs> Ryuji, didn't we just finish talking about how we need to be on guard? We can't throw darts? Come on, it's just darts. Don't you want to play two more, Donna? Right, it's just darts? I mean, if you can actually throw anything. Damn! Me personally, Morgana, I'm not taking that. If you're just going to play, then I guess it shouldn't be a problem, right? We can't live life? All right, then. Let's head to this darts lounge or whatever it is. Lead the way, Ryuji. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah, I'm on it. All right, the place is in Kichi Choji, so we got to take the train first. Uh, Kichi Choji, right? I've never been there. i never been there. New area unlocked again. Oh, what? For real? There's a bunch of different shops right outside the station there. Let's go. It's, that, it's just one stop away from Shibuya. So let's head for the Inogami line first. Oh, we still unlocking new places? Ryuji! You're so, I thought you were leading the way, bro. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, well, I guess they say keep going straight. Um... Oh, yeah, y'all did hmm. say a part-time job, huh? I'm pretty short on cash. Maybe I should think about getting one, too. But for now, let's go to Kichi Choji. All right, I have to come back on my own time. I was going to say, I remember y'all said I should also get a day job as well. But I feel like I can use the day for better stuff. But hey, you know, I might try it because I don't have to go every time. Hey, these stairs will take you to the Inogami line. This is the way to Kichi Choji. I'm getting excited. But you, right, but you just go. didn't want to go. Like crazy how they switch out okay kichi choji oh it's right past the park popular with men and women of all ages the streets are lined with shops find your own style the unique styles on display may intimidate newcomers but all are welcome okay all right you can now go to kichi choji let's see what they, what they got for us now 
We're heading to an area that's outside of where your commuter pass works. So make sure you've got the fare. Mm. So we gotta start paying. 200 yen? That's not bad. The school commuter train pass allows you to travel for free on two railroad railway lines. Yongenjaya to Shibuya and Shibuya to Ayoma each tome. Okay. You will have to pay a fare to travel outside of these areas, so make your travel plans accordingly. Then basically I gotta make sure I have at least 200 yen on me at all times. <laughs> I have at least 200 yen to spend. Um, do you wanna play darts too? <laughs> like, if you don't make your presence known. But hold up, what's her fit? Can I move the titles? I wanna see what her fit looking like outside of school. She look clean. Those two. Okay, I saw her for a split second. It was cool. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. Ooh, wee! Y'all never fail to disappoint. Ooh, so this is Kichi Choji, huh? You can tell it's nothing like Shibuya just from the atmosphere alone. Well, yeah. Looks like there's a lot of shops here that you can't find in Shibuya. Not that I'd really know. Ooh, this joint heat! Uh, it seems interesting. Let's go over to let's get over to the darts lounge. <laughs> Whoa, someone's raring to go, eh? All right, let's get going then. I think the darts lounge is one block up from the All main right. street. But since we're here, I won't say no to checking out a bunch of the other shops on the way. Oh, so we exploring. Let's do it. Okay, we out here being tourists. Ah, nothing like a day out on the town with the bros, bro. Nothing like it. Those are some of the best memories. And you don't even have to actually do stuff. <laughs> like, you can literally just be walking around. And you can get some of the fondest mm. memories. Yo, bro! <laughs> so she's really just tailing us? Whoa, find the duck. We're really just exploring. Okay, what's good? Info, information. Hi there. Hello. We do our best to provide information regarding this area. Hey. Why don't you ask them about Kichi Chochi? Any questions? What would you like to hear about? This is a lot of stuff about this city. What do you recommend about the stores? Anything I should know? What do you recommend? Yeah, I know just the thing. Please allow me to explain. You're a miner, correct? If that's the case, if you go past the drinking district and reach Rude Dick Chochu, you will find a darts and billiards lounge. That's where we're trying to go. It's actually a very casual place and people your age can walk in with no problem. Fire. How about for adults? What about somewhere unique? Uh, well, I don't need to ask about adults because we're not adults. <laughs> what about somewhere you, you know? Oh, yes! One of the city's hidden gems is the temple and the promenade. Ooh, y'all got a temple? It's even popular among young people who are looking for some guidance. Ugh. Oh, maybe that doesn't really include students like you. The hell does that mean? <laughs> if you're ever interested, you should check it out. Was there anything else you wanted to hear about? What the hell was that about? So, uh, let's hear about this city. Well, then. Certainly, please allow me to explain. There are four different areas. On the promenade, you can find a fried food shop, a stationery store, a secondhand clothing store, and a temple. Wait, clothing store? We can get fitted? Hold up. <laughs> the ground beef cutlet at the fried food shop is delicious, but you will have to wait in line. If you take a left at the fried food shop, you'll see Retro Street. Here you can find a selection of cheap, chic, and sophisticated stores. There's also a jazz club at the end of the alley. Sometimes popular singles will go there and the liveliness is inevitable. <sighs> Whew, I hope I explained it all right. Do you have any other questions? Please continue. I think I'll be okay. Please continue. Yes. Of course. After passing Retro Street, you will see Rude Day Choch Chochu, which has a variety of store of fancy stores to visit. There's also a well-known healing crystal store selling power stones that provide real results. Oh, so that's all for the that's for all the brain dead astrology believers. Not only that, but on Route de Chochu, there's a lounge to- Okay, yep, yep. The last one is Harmony Alley, which is like a drinking district. It's located just past this information desk. It has an old Japanese flavor. Perfect for just enjoying the atmosphere. The inspiration is inevitable. This music- I could listen to her talk as long as I got this music in the back, bro. That's a vibe. Was that too much information for a miner? Well, that's about it for the city. Is there something else I can help you with? So, we said what do you recommend about the city, stores, let's talk about the stores well, then. next. Apparently, allow me to explain. It's a strange, <coughs> excuse me, a unique second-handed clothing store here as well. 
It's located on the Promenade Street. The manager always greets me in the morning, but... He's always saying, I specifically want sooty clothing. And is quite picky about what you bring in, too. Oh, and have you been to the incense store in Harmony Alley? It actually opened quite recently. You know we hid in that thrift store so I could get rid of some of these sooty clothes. They have incenses that people have never even heard of before. And it's not a fishy store either. Is there anything else you wanted to ask? Okay. And anything I should know? Actually. Anything you should know? Actually, yes. There's something I heard recently. About the fried food shop in the promenade. People say it's tedious to wait in line. And by nighttime, it's already sold out. So what are we to do if we want one? Well, they say on Sundays they make more than usual. What's today? <laughs> My lucky day, that's what it is. So in other words, if you go down a Sunday night, and the story I heard ends there. Anything else you want to know? Okay, so Sunday night I can hit up the fried food shop. Okay, uh, nothing else. Come again. If you would like to know more about Kichi Choji, feel free to stop on by. <sighs> Ooh. That was a lot of, that was quite a lot of information. Y'all better have written that down for me to remind me when I forget. <laughs> That's why I read all that on video. I think we're able to broaden our insights about Kichi Choji. Okay. Oh, I got knowledge on that. Fire. Okay. Okay, so what is this place right here? That's the stationery store. And then is this the thrift shop? No, cell phone. Cell phone shop? What is this? Secondhand clothes. Hey. Oh, dude, check out the sign in the store. It says, bring your sooty clothing here. Yeah, you know I'm there. Sooty clothes? Hmm. Hmm, let's see what they got. All right, I got a bunch of sooty clothes for you. Look at Makoto. Think, hold up. Whoa, Makoto! Whoa, she looking kind of... <laughs> Welcome. If you're looking to sell clothes... Wait, what's that? Can I take a look at that? Don't worry, I won't steal it. Go into the second hand shop. At the second hand shop, you can sell sooty armor you own. Depending on what the sooty armor was originally, it may fetch a decent price. Oh, so I'm selling it for money. For each clothing item you sell, you will obtain shop points, which can be traded for prizes at the shop. See if you can find something useful. Nice. Okay, this guy's reacting to the clothing that we got from Shadows. I think he knows what he's talking about, right? I've been here for 40 years, but I've never seen clothing that makes my heart chill. All right, I'll buy it, but I only buy it for the price it deserves. So we have a point card system here. Each piece of clothing you sell here will give you 10 points. Every one is only 10? Okay. Once you obtain enough points, you can trade them for a prize. So feel free to let us take that clothing off your hands. Hmm. Not hmm. only is he going to buy them for us, he's going to give us points for them too? We should definitely come back here, right? So, what can I do for you? Uh, let me see the prizes? Okay, oh, oh awaken incense? What is that? Cleansing air freshener cures all non-special ailments for one ally? Quick spray, fast acting disinfectant, lowers accuracy slash evasion for all foes for three turns. Eat a tens belt, skill, auto masuku, the belt of a swift footed god. I guess I increased the dodging. And clothing grab bag contains four sets of used clothes, which you get as a surprise. Interesting. Okay. May I want to see what that uh, 50 do. Hold up. All right. So you sold nine pieces of clothing. That'll get you 90 points. And now I got 90 points. Cash in the treasure. Old, old clothing at Furugi no Nyuchi. Okay, so I was gonna say, because I can't wash all these clothes every time. So now that I got 90 points, let me get this grab bag, right? Four sets of used clothes, which you get as a surprise. Yeah, let's see. Okay, I got that, and I still got 40. So let's get cleansing curve all non special ailments. Fast acting is effective, lowest accuracy. Which one am I more likely to use? I feel like this. Let's see. All right. Oh. Hey, hey. I always want to know what's inside this stuff. Let's take a look. Yeah, I want to see. But they got like <laughs> some gotcha in, in this. Like, what's going on here? Old ghastly dress, old mythical, old mythical scarf, old chino sound. <laughs> How do you say that? <laughs> Not too bad. Let's get this again sometime. Okay, so it's random every time. I hope you like the stuff we had in the store. If you want, it, if you want more points, just sell the clothes you got. Anything else? 
Um, nah, nothing else. Thank you for your business. These clothes are amazing. Come again, all right? Anytime. Anytime I'm in the area. Well, that was kind of a weird store. <laughs> hey, we got, we got, we got, we got some good stuff from there. I'm not complaining. But I guess it was pretty fun. Let's check it out again sometime. Okay, let's we exploring, bro. And what is this? This is a stationery hmm. store. I'm not gonna senses are telling me that this store sells a lot of stuff that suits my taste. What the hell are Morgana senses, mm. right? Well, let's take a look. You know, we just being tourists for the day. This is a cool area, though. Ah, this is the road. This is a cool hey. area. The name of the shop matches what's on the free tickets. I'm assuming it's darts and billiards right there, penguin sniper. It says penguin sniper, huh? Why did you give one of those doofy birds a gun? For real? It's not meant to be taken literally, right? Still, if you're coming up with a good name, well, whatever, let's check it out. Nah, bro, <laughs> you're, not, you're not getting away with that one, Ryuji. You can't eat a Frank with that. Oh, here's the place. Oh, man, I'm getting kind of nervous. Hmm. <laughs> you're such a child. Try not to embarrass the rest of us, would you? Morgana, you're like 12 at max, bro. Relax. <laughs> Don't gotta tell me that. So, what's the plan? You wanna head inside? I mean, yeah, we looked at everything. Yeah, I can quick travel to darts and billiards. Oh! Alright, bull! That's a new high score! You got her like that, gang? Like, what the hell? <laughs> what you got, Byakugan? <laughs> How you see the, the chakra points like that? Oh, you seem to know a lot, right? The center of the target's called the bullseye. If you land a dart there, it's called the bull. I've never heard somebody call it bull, but okay. I know because I looked up the rules online last night. So you was plotting. All right, so I'm at a disadvantage here. Say that. Say that. Anyway, this game's called Zero One. Mm -hmm. You win by getting your score all the way down to zero points before the other player. I know that much from GTA V. <laughs> what y'all know? At, when you play as Trevor in GTA V and you go to that bar with the darts, yeah, I know. Oh, so you're not trying to get a high score. Right. But get rid of your score? Right. That's pretty different. Very interesting. What is dude over there dude over there doing the smooth criminal? If you don't throw the dart already? We both start with the same score. Then you lose points based on the number on the board where your dart lands. Yeah, the amount, yeah, the number. Yep, yep, and yep. You can only win if you get your score down to zero exactly. Yes, you can't sir. Be off by a single point. You know what this also reminds me of? Y'all know that scene. I'm not gonna spoil it too much, but for y'all who watch Hunter Hunter, but that scene with Killua, that that one fight, you know, darts. <laughs> Just uh, hey, Killua darts. If you know, you know. If you don't, that's not a spoiler, bro. <laughs> How's that sound? Pretty sick, right? Uh, it's, it's, it's cool, I guess. So you have to be able to calculate your score properly while making sure you hit the right numbers on the board. Pretty interesting, Ryuji's the one who's good at it. I just realized this. This is news, but I'm not so yo persona. Whoever made the soundtrack, bro, one love to you, big bro, cause. You snap! Not a single miss. This game seems like it takes a lot of concentration. Right. Uh. Oh, you're not having me play? How you doing? <laughs> One point. Come on. You have to straighten your arm out more and... Do you even have arms? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Hey, Ryuji, what's up? Everyone's a critic. Uh, I was just reading this flyer. It says, darts is a party when you play in pairs. But let's one-on-one. You one on one. someone and alternate throwers when it's your turn. You still use the same rules I told you, though. Hey, what do you say we give it a try? Uh, you better not take us. Yeah, sounds fun. Hell yeah. Let's That's do what this. I'm talking about. Uh, let's the, do this. The dynamic duo, Ryuji and Joker. Ah. Okay. Hey! Whoa, a bull right off the bat? Man, talk about an exciting opening. Would you expect anything less from me? Ah, that's my guy. Here goes. Don't underestimate an ex-athlete. I mean, I'm not. We saw you got bull earlier. Talk to me, Gengo. Ooh. Hell yeah, triple 20. Okay, okay. Whoa. He hit such a tiny spot. Right. Quite impressive, <laughs> especially for you, Ryuji. <laughs> Yo, I love Ryuji and Morgana's dynamic. Like, obviously they're homies, but they're the type of homies that show love by just constantly hating on each other in, a, in a, like, a brotherly way. I do that with my friends all the time, bro. That's fire. That's fire. Yes, sir. 
And then me and Ryuji's dynamic is we just cool, you We're know what I mean? Down to zero points. It's really focused for this last round. Okay, okay. Whoa, y'all oh, turning up? Zero points right on the dot. <laughs> oh, ain't we badass? Why the music? I was trying to turn up to the. That's no easy feat. You really do have something special going on. Is that a tournament that we're gonna enter, Man, bro? This is so fun. Uh, so Ryuji likes online, this spot. The pressure's insane, but it makes you want to do your best for your partner. I gotta remember that. Re huh? Baton Pass has ranks too. Baton Pass. So this is what they mean when I take them to spots that they like. It ranks up the Baton Pass. Okay, Baton Pass rank two. Damage up and HP recover. Fire. I feel like I understand something better after pairing up with Ryuji. Oh my! Also, oh, both of ours increases, like respectively. The higher your baton pass rank, the more powerful the effects will be when performing a baton pass. I figured as much. Rank 1, increase damage dealt. And rank 2, increase damage dealt and heal HP after a baton pass. Rank 3, increase damage dealt, heal even more HP after a baton pass, and recover SP after a baton pass. Ooh, that's fire! You can verify a party member's baton pass rank on the stat screen, so I can only get it up to rank 3. Okay. Interesting. Based on the looks on your faces, I'm guessing both of you got something out of this game. Yeah, got that Even team chemistry out. Game, it can be some kind of training, depending on how you play. Yeah, it could increase our accuracy, bro. We pinpointing, sharpshooting. Someone's dedicated. That's a good way. To, that's a good way to look at it. <laughs> well, I do always have the Phantom Thieves on the brain. Uh, Let's keep or Lady on. together here. Oh, uh, oh. Let's invite everybody next uh, time. Oh, group hangout. Man. All this just from me asking you to meet me here? This right. This is like, uh, you know, one of those strikes of good luck. Uh, that's my guy, bro. Stroke of good luck. <laughs> Why would it be a strike? Who would protest having good luck? Fair point. I'd even, I'd even bat an eye at that saying. They playing pool? Whoa. Oh, yeah. They have pool here, too. We all have to learn to do that, too? Mm. This game could be useful, too. Depending on how we look at it. Okay. Yeah, it's already pretty late though. We can come back and play it later. It says daytime, big uh, bro. And don't forget, we got a couple free tickets to play today. Right. But next time, you'll have to pay up. Same thing with the dookie booty batting cages back at home. But it was super fun, right? Right. Oh, I really want to play again sometime. Okay, I'll well, invite you. We should head home for the day. Thanks for hanging out. Hey, thanks for inviting me, bro. Thanks for offering. <laughs> this was fire. Ugh, that's fire. I love hanging out with the bros, bro. Hey. If I remember correctly, Jens for Lines of Shibuya, right? I heard customers say it's got pretty dangerous over there. Don't let yourself be a target, got it? Mm. Wow, it's really gotten that unsafe, huh? That said, you still want to check out Kichi Choji at night, don't you? Don't worry, JC. Worst comes to work, I've got your back, and yeah, you know I got yours, bro. <laughs> Besides, a certain delicious smell on that street that bears investigating. Oh, yeah, the fried food is, uh, yeah, at night we get a good deal. I guess we're going back. Picked up some interesting info you might want to hear. Talk to me. Apparently, there's this old man who's been causing problems at Kichi Choji. If you make one wrong move or say the wrong thing, he flies into a rage and turns it into a fight. You don't need to relax, but hey, this would be our second memento, so let me know. Is next episode we hop into mementos? Talk to me. Even if you don't hit him, he lies and says you did, and then sues for damages. That's like that one st sub story in Yakuza Kiwami. So he's like a con artist, or like a conflict artist. That's ridiculous. And the cops? Right. Well, they try to give him a warning, but when he pretends to be senile, he gets away with everything. So it's somebody's unk. We can't just let him go unchecked, right? Only problem is, knowing that he's an old troublemaker isn't enough to get us a name. But I did hear that he hangs out in Kichichoji's Harmony Alley a lot. That's with the jazz club. Mm. This old man sure does sound like a problem. If we don't know his name, we can't make him have a change of heart. Okay, it sounds like our next stop is to Kichichoji. Let's go check out this Harmony Alley. Okay, an elderly's meaning of life. Honestly, bro. Who's texting me? Oh, I forgot about bro. 
Okay, so next time we hop on, I think I think next time we hop on is perfect for mementos, cause we gotta we gotta uh uh uh, uh check the con artist and then do, get that fried chicken. I mean fried foods. Oh wait, no no no, cause it's not gonna be Sunday evening. But should I hang out with bro now? How much time I've been recording for? I hang out with bro real quick. Hold on, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I'll be giving a speech at the usual spot today. Are you free today? Do you think you can help out? What am I bond with? Yoshida will go stronger soon. I almost forgot about Yoshida. You agreed to a deal with Yoshida. Be sure to accept his invitation so you get his trust, okay? Yeah, we can do that right now. Thanks. I would like for you to hold up a placard again. I'll be waiting in front of Shibuya Station. I forgot he said Sundays. Okay. Damn, that's gonna conflict with my, uh, Everyone. Ichi Choji time, though. Passing on the societal ills we have created to the next generation is not right. It will take time to solve this problem. However, we must start by making small changes. Ugh, cause what they said? You may not be able to change the world in one day, but you can change one thing today. Mm. What y'all know about that? If y'all could tell me the name of that song and who sung that song, Hey, bro. Hey, bro. We, we just locked in. We just locked in. I can't offer you nothing. I'm broke. But, but we're locked in. You know what I mean? If you get that. <laughs> you. I hope you gleaned something useful from today's speech. Regardless of the audience size, you must convey your thoughts as if you're talking one-on-one. -on -one. Like I do with y'all, bro. <laughs> like I do with y'all. By the way, I forgot to ask you last time we spoke. Why do you want to become a politician? I want to change the world, I want to improve my speech, I'm not sure. I mean, these first two wouldn't be lies, but improve my speech doesn't sound right. And change the world is broad, but that's that's technically what this is helping towards, our Phantom Thief mission changing the world. Hmm? Ambitious indeed, a little ambiguous. Well, I'm sure you're ironing out the details as you go along. May I ask you one more question? What kind of politician do you want to be? One with conviction, a popular one, I don't know yet. Well, with conviction. Yes, don't ever forget that. Although what's important is what lies within. Okay. Right. Allow me to give you some advice. If you aspire to get into politics, you must possess a central philosophy. Okay. What is that? What is it that you want to accomplish? This, that is the foundation of a great speech. You do well to remember that. Yeah, you gotta have your purpose before you go mouthing off a bunch of hoorah. <laughs> that was helpful. I knew that already. What I want to accomplish. That was helpful. I'm glad. By the way, my philosophy is... Very well. Never give up until your voice is heard. Mm, okay. Get your message across. Be tenacious in conveying your thoughts to the audience. Have a firm point of view and communicate it clearly. That's the first rule of negotiating. <laughs> you have me re you have me reliving the fighting spirit I had when I first became a politician. When in like 1975. <laughs> Shida explained the basics of speech giving. I feel my bond with him is growing deeper. Uh, so what is that like rank three? Oh rank two. I'm tweaking. <laughs> Diplomacy. Occasionally ask for more money or items during negotiations. Fire. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate that, Gengo. Oh my God, this dude again? Get your hell out of here! No, get Tora. Like, get a job or something. Like, get a second job if you already have one. Cause there's no reason you should have this much free time to know when he talks. Show up just to say that. Like, watch it. <sighs> No oh, good, Tora. The gimmick's already old. <laughs> like he was just talking all that now now. Oh, I'm no good. The world hates me. Like, bro, have some backbone. You're right. I am no good. I'ma start agreeing with them the next time if you still like this. Oh, my apologies. We're done for today. I feel like nego learning about the base of negotiation has served to increase my charm. The hanging out with him increases charm as well. The sun is coming out. Whoa. That's crazy. <laughs> charm is at two. I shall ask you again another time. Thank you for all your hard work. I'll see you next time. All right. See ya. Now it's Monday. The worst day. <laughs> the worst day. 
Hey, I wanted to. Hey, I wanted to thank you for today. Why did I change his voice like that? He's never sound like that. I'm sorry you had to see me acting like such a coward right after I gave you that self-important lecture too. Yeah, man up, bro. But I'm quite a stubborn individual myself. Could have fooled me. I hope today's incident was at least a good example of what not to do. But what do you think? Did you take anything useful from it? It was helpful somewhat. It changed my whole outlook. Uh, I feel like that's kind of sarcastic, but I already said it was helpful. What? Really? I wasn't expecting to have such an impact, but I'm glad if I helped somehow. I hope our talks from now on will keep giving you the direction you need. Fire! I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. Yoshis! <laughs> Matane! You know what I mean? Alright. So it's- Ooh! It shot up to 16%! See the news? We're at six, eight to sixteen, and that double. That's crazy. About the calling card from the Phantom Thieves, right? The way it was written seemed pretty legit. Have they really stolen people's hearts? I can't believe the Phantom Thieves actually exist. Whoa! They fought. We got that. We got some clout with our name now. Oh, we got summer uniform. You know what I need to do today? Well, not today. Next video, bro. Or soon, I need to hit the bathhouse. I haven't gone in so long. <laughs> uh, so gross and humid. Now, for today's train news. Today's headlines are... Hot spots of Tokyo. Penguin Sniper has opened for business in Kichichoji. What's Penguin Sniper, you ask? A zoo? A pet shop? No, it's a trendy lounge for darts and billiards. Yes, sir, we've been there. Whether alone or in a group, how you play is up to you. Okay. Oh. Ooh, it's that one lounge. Next time we go, I'm gonna play darts too. How? <laughs> How are you gonna do that one? Still, they're sure had a lot of shots in Kichichoji. We should take our time and look around when we get the chance. Already did that, Morgana. All I gotta do is look at the temple. <laughs> That's literally all I have to do. We're pulling up on me. Ryuji, what's good, Gango? The response to Monorame's press conference was huge. Everyone's talking about the calling card. Girls are checking me out today. Maybe they can't help but sense my overflow and Phantom Thief charisma. Or maybe it's because you're the only person still wearing winter uniform, Ryuji. You don't notice everybody else in the train station is not wearing the jacket no more, gang. Oh, damn. Am I finally starting to be popular with all the fly hunt? <laughs> oh, no! Yeah, something strange. For real? Of course there is! My uniform, man! My uniform! We're supposed to switch to summer uniforms today! Of course Ryuji will be the one to forget. <laughs> I knew people were looking at me. Oh, god damn it! I gotta go home and change, so you go on ahead. <laughs> damn, the only thing that sucks with their summer uniform, they can't really personalize it a lot, oh, right? Because they, they don't got their own custom fit under the blazer. <laughs> Right? That, that's the only thing I hate. I used to hate about, uh, cause I did go to, before high school, I went to a school where I had to wear a uniform. I hated it, bro. Everybody looks the same. You can't express yourself. They try to say, Oh, it's distracting, blah, 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 blah. Stop trying to teach us to be robots, bro. Like, how is me wearing what I want to wear distracting? Hey, oh, brother. Oh, God, you're pale. Short sleeves are so not for you. Shut up. Jeez. Anyway, did you catch the news yesterday? Watching that famous artist cry his eyes out all over the artwork he's stolen? Damn. Same thing happened to Kamoshida, right? Both got weird calling cards too. If you ask me, the same person is behind all of this. And the same person is behind y'all, so what's really good? <laughs> the news this morning said a group called the most hated mafia <laughs> are the ones behind the cards. I wonder how they get people to confess. I mean, they can't literally be stealing hearts. Oh, you'll be surprised. Blackmail, maybe? How is it blackmail if they end up confessing? Ah, I made it. Uh, uh, sprinting first thing in the morning was a bad idea. That's, um, that's not the uniform, gang. <laughs> no more rules? I don't think that's school regulation. Well, that's definitely my personal best by a lot. That's not uniform, gang. That is not uniform. Oh, uh, lunchtime, what's going on? 
How are things going in regard to that matter we spoke of earlier? Whoa! Okay, Makoto with the summer uniform. I see you, gang. I have nothing to report yet. Yeah, she hasn't gotten a nothing lot of progress. How many students are there who could provoke a teacher? How many bow ties are there in the world that could survive the neck flag you put them under, bro? I've already narrowed it down. I just can't get any solid evidence. Cut her some slack. Like, why don't you do it? She's a student. Are you paying her? You knew, didn't you? Right. About Mr. Kamashita sexually harassing students. You, th you thought he didn't know? They were in cahoots. Sir. And look at him. What will come of you asking that? And he still has the nerve to smile after that. She just asks, have you been touching child booty? And you do this. Like, what? This investigation is for a just cause, correct? No. I believe I understand how flustered this must be making you. Oh, I'm sure boy. it was truly shocking for you as student council president to see a peer attempt suicide. That's your concern, bro? Yes. We must provide a school environment where all students can feel at ease. Yeah, but you're lying to them about what's really going on and it's just gonna build up, bro. Did you not learn your lesson from last time? Like, oh God, we're gonna end up, I have a feeling we're gonna end up dealing with another school incident, bro, at, the, at this rate. That is the most pressing issue we have to tackle at the moment. Yeah, I need a new principal. Dr. So Eggman doesn't know what you're talking about. behind this investigation on the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? Mm -hmm. We don't even know if they truly exist. Why are you... He's trying to protect himself with his skeletons in the closet, bro. He, he probably makes Kamashita look like an angel if we look at his, at his history. You heard about the incident with that Madarame fellow, I assume? Why does that concern you? They said there was a similar calling card to the one used in Mr. Kamashita's case. Yeah, that's us. I wish to believe that this is unrelated to our students. Why? Yes. That they're that achieving is justice? Stand. I suggest you devote your energy to the task at hand, not unnecessary questions. And I suggest you devote your energy to a gym membership and some broccoli on your plate once in a while, big bro. I'm surprised that one suit you have can still fit you. <laughs> That's probably why you only got one. You can't wear no other one. <sighs> like, imagine after a long day of him doing principal work, imagine what that chair smells like at the end of the day, bro. Oh my god, that you could kill somebody just by walking into the room if he left the windows closed for all day. Like, oh brother, I don't want to hear nothing from him, bro. Look at him. Why did his eyes go down when she turned around? He like child booty. He's, he needs to be locked up. Did you see Madarame's press conference? They memed the him on the wall. All like, How could I possibly apologize for what I've done? Oh. They really turned bro into a meme. Damn! Ryuji, you didn't get dress coded? What the hell? Think it was really those phantom thieves? You know, the whole stealing your heart thing? <laughs> uh, there's no way. But then again, it seems too convenient for it all to just be coincidence. Yeah! <laughs> Ryuji, tone it down a little bit, bro. That was obvious. How's it going? Ooh! Have you found our next big target? Okay, on! I see the drip! I see the drip! She personalized it a little bit. Damn, Morgana, you hanging out the desk. I just started looking yesterday. No way I'm gonna find one that quick. So you're telling me that shirt oh, is yeah. regulation? Yes, that's true. By the way, I decided on the TV station. What about you two? What? Huh? Right? Oh, crap, the social studies trip. Huh? Oh, I just want to ditch it. Cool trip. You better go to your school activities. Didn't I tell you not to draw attention to yourselves? Right. We got a school trip. Didn't you suddenly turn it into a good student stand out more? <laughs> right. Let bickering and go. Damn. Then let's all choose the TV station. Okay. I heard we're going to get to watch them tape a show. Maybe there will be actresses there. Because on is a model. Get some experience. What the hell was that about? Oh, well. Not like I got anything better to do than waiting for info to come in online. What was that? Plus, Morgana's right. Showing up will keep the teachers from getting all suspicious of me. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna head back. That I can't believe that shirt is school regulated. Yeah. Maybe I should get a haircut. Cut what, bro? You gonna get a fade? How that was that? Guy's such an idiot. <laughs> I hope nothing happens. Damn, Morgana. <laughs> Why you gotta be such an idiot? Relax. Oh, God, there's still more. I thought I was in. 
You know what's pretty great having everyone talk about us, huh? We can't make it known it's us. This classroom looks so different now that we got different fits. Auto Rami is the only topic of conversation at my school. And as I'm his people, most of my peers are chosen to- Yeah, I was gonna say, they're probably gonna, like, ostracize him now, bro. For real? That's BS. Are you going to be okay? There was no need to worry. They had already been treating me differently from others as they stood. <laughs> I'm not surprised. There's- this is nothing new to me. Okay, then. More importantly, do we have any leads on our next mission? You kidding? There's no way we find a target that quick, right? We got mementos, though. <laughs> we need a way to see. To mementos we go, right? Great idea. I will keep myself free. Please tell me if anything comes up. So what? Hey, are you listening? Oh my God, this Custer, the one who abuses me. I forgot he throws the chalk. The chalk. But uh, so t talk to me. Y'all want mementos next episode? Comment. <laughs> oh brother. You pay attention. Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? I don't think my proficiency is high enough to dodge it, but I guess. Yeah, yeah, we know, we know. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, that was an epic dodge. Now you just wasted chalk. How you feel? I can't believe he dodged Ushimaru's throw. Is he a ninja? <laughs> Well, whatever. Moving on. Yeah, your your plan to assert dominance failed, old man. Hey. Ooh, you've gotten the entire class attention. Your charm has definitely increased. Oh, okay. Give me the charm points then. I need it. I need all the game I could get, bro. Yeah. <laughs> they said, "Is he a ninja?" You know, if it was me playing, they would have they would have had a different word. Uh, senpai. Me. Okay, so they do personalize their summer uh, uniforms a little bit. What a pleasant surprise. Oh, nice to see you too. It's really pouring down, isn't it? Is she gonna have to stand under my umbrella? Classic slice of life trope, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Classic. I see y'all. I thought something like this would happen. So oh. I snuck a collapsible umbrella into your bag. Oh! Y'all, W man's okay. Thanks a bunch. Keep packing for me, please. What a considerate, <laughs> what a considerate kitty. Uh, thanks a bunch, bro. Well, you do carry me around in your bag all the time. Ah! I gotta show my appreciation somehow. That's my guy. That's my guy. You know, hey. Well, see you around. Hey, hey. <laughs> Once you get wet, though, where's your umbrella? Uh, where's your umbrella? Unfortunately, I forgot it. I got one right here that both of us but can fit under. I'll barely get wet if I run to the station. I could just if walk anything, you. It'll make for good training. I could walk you. You want a piece of this? What? Get a walk together? Huh? But how are... Oh, are you offering to share your umbrella? Yeah! <laughs> Be wonderful. Thank you so much. <laughs> I win. I've won. My great victory. Thanks again for letting me join you. Hey, no to problem. Be honest, prelims are coming up soon, so I didn't want to take any chances of getting sick. Look at her being considerate, cause she, you know, I don't mind this shoulder getting a little wet, bro. As long as you're good, my baby. Free limbs? Is it for gymnastic? Is it for gymnastics? Yeah, that's right. Mm. Two huge competitions are coming up. One at the beginning of summer and one near the end. Oh, so she's gonna if be I'm busy. If I'm going to participate in the prelims, I have to be selected as my club's representative. So she's gonna and be in the lab. And qualifier meet to determine who that rep will be. Mm, I don't know what it's you're talking about. It's my dream to compete in gymnastics on the global level. Ah. So, I plan on maintaining a strict training regimen with my coach. Nice! You sure are devoted? I'll cheer, I'll cheer you. I'll be cheering you on. I'd be invincible if I had you cheering me on, senpai. <laughs> Whoa. What they trying to do here? What the <laughs> I'm, now, I'm not turning on Takumi, but it won't hurt to get to know the other female cat. Like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, we're already at the station. Why is she so sad about it? Hey, bro. If you ever need an umbrella to walk under, I'm here. I'll be fine from here out. Okay, look at them! I can't thank you enough for today. 
I swear, I'll return the favor some. Look at them nosy people. They stopped what they were doing to watch us. Like, hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? Right? You mean the honors gymnast? She gets the VIP treatment at school and a boyfriend to escort her around. Damn, y'all loud. Snowflake sure is living on easy street. Y'all are loud. Like, move. They must not heard about me. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to deal with a misunderstanding like that. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you're right. Right. That's what they say. The same thing happens in class, too. People are often wary of me because I'm an honor student. I'm talking about Easy Street. You know, <laughs> she's the one in the lab and then comes home from the lab and studies to get them grades. Like, what do you do? Just hate on her? Like, the school's expecting me to attain strong results in the upcoming competitions, too. Mm. They even told me I didn't have to participate in the cleanup event. So she's the. But I just don't uh, like getting special treatment. So she's like the angel. The angel of the school. Oh, excuse me. My father's calling. Okay. Hello, Dad. What was that? Uh, sorry, my phone's been acting up lately. Her dad's probably real strict, huh? It's okay. Thanks. Mm hmm. I'll see you later. Or not. <laughs> or not. Sorry about that. He asked if I needed a ride since it's raining. Ah. A bit overprotective, don't you think? <laughs> you got a great dad. He must care a lot about you. Yeah, he must care a lot about you. Yes, I definitely agree. Okay, so, well, okay, good, I have good, to get good. To practice, so it's time for me to go. Thanks so much for today. Don't mention Excuse it anytime. Me. Anytime. Uh, this to haunt me. What the hell was that? <laughs> Why Seems did... pretty rough. Why did she turn like that? She really said, she said. Thanks for today, senpai. Like, what the hell? You a robot? Looks like Yoshizawa has a heart too. But never mind that. Having wet fur is the worst. Try to keep me under the umbrella, would you? All right, my fault, gang. <laughs> hey, I found some great intel. That's three people yet. Now we're hopping in mementos. This time, it's bullying a Kosei student they call a queen. She's been ordering around a male student who goes by the name M. Kind of like the M in s &M. That's horrible. I wish I was his in shoes. They really, so you're telling me I could really make Joker a masochist. Y'all crazy. That's horrible. Does M stand for Mishima? <laughs> That's a secret. Anyway, here are the details. Mishima, freak with it. The girl act, acting like a queen is Hikari, Hikari Shimasu. I wonder if it's more likely that a girl will turn out like that if she has a, if she has an S as an initial. The hell? Well, I already posted the warning, so you should take it on when you have the time. Hopefully you don't end up in M. Hey, hey! What did he mean by S and M? Those are shirt sizes, right? Is it the size of clothes? Uh, yeah, German. they're clothes sizes. Uh, anyway, it seems like she's a worthy target. Let's Train find time to consult the others at the hideout. Oh, sadism is just a sign of love. I mean, if you're into that. <laughs> All right, y'all, so that does it for today's episode, bro. I don't know if this ended up being two videos or just one extra long one. Pause. <laughs> Pause. But hey, bro, I hope y'all been enjoying Persona 5 Royal. This was a, you know, y'all know how I feel about this game. Y'all know I love it, and I know y'all love it, but just to make sure I know y'all still want to see more, <laughs> make sure you leave a like and comment so I know how you feeling about it. And if you're new here and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that bell so you're always going to know when I post a new vids, bro. Because uh, trust me, you're not going to miss it, bro. As you can see, they be fire. I be doing my thing. You know, we put, we playing some heat. And then I contribute to sub to it, hopefully. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I contribute enough of it. And contribute enough to it. Like, I can't talk today. Probably because I need to go to sleep. <laughs> uh, if you want to be in the loop with most hated news, follow the socials that are displayed right here. There are also always in the description below for direct links to whatever social you want to follow me on. Bro. Yeah. I love you and appreciate y'all for all the support. Like I said, bruh, 275 at the time of this recording was literally just at 268 yesterday. At the time of this recording, like, it's crazy. But thank y'all so much for all the love. I'll never take y'all for granted. Yeah, see you on the next one. Honorama is the ugliest cry I've ever seen in my life, bro. Golly.